This video is sponsored by Simply Safe. More on that in a little bit. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the homestead. It's cold this morning. It is cold this morning. We're like 42 when we woke yeah. up. So not like really cold, but pretty chilly. chilly for May. Mid May, yeah. Almost mid May. Mid May. We're headed down to the bottom. Uh, Mike and I have the goal. We're gonna get the greenhouse finished today. So we have the rest of that lap siding, the windows and the roofing. Yeah, um, it should all go pretty smooth. We are up here kind of brainstorming the best way to do it because um, we have to run the generator while we do this. So I think what we've come up with is we're gonna measure each piece of uh, siding that we need. They all should be pretty much the same. Um, we're gonna need just a bunch of them. I don't know, maybe 25, 30 of them. Yeah. And then we'll cut each piece so we don't have the generator running a ton, basically. Yeah, we'll show you guys what we got going on here. We think it'll go pretty smoothly. Uh, I mean, we shall see. Yeah, well, <laughs> we never know. All these projects, we try to plan them, but then we run into a hiccup. But uh, yeah, we'll show, show you what we got going on. So it's been raining pretty hard here the last few days. So we finally have a little bit of a break in weather, even though it's still kind of chilly. But we're gonna pick up where we left off, which is the lap siding. I think that most of the pieces are gonna be right about the same size. So we need to cut a bunch for in between the windows, basically, on the front and on the back. Should be pretty good. Then while she's working on that, I'm going to go through and start the windows. What we need to do is get a couple pieces of trim um, so we can set these windows in. They don't just fall through. So we'll get a few pieces of trim. We'll need four on each window. I gotta get those cut. We don't even have them uh, cut yet. So uh, yeah, that's what we're working on with the windows. In other news, it's June's birthday today. <laughs> Hi, dude. She's three. So far, it's a good day. You gotta go, girl. Gotta go, It only took me 25 minutes to find a pencil. Not quite that long, five, 10 minutes. Okay, let's start measuring. So we gotta kind of figure out the best way to go about this. We have a lot of cuts to make and a lot of scrap pieces, but we don't wanna have the generator running the entire time to be cutting all of these boards. So I think what we have to do first is go through, measure everything, mark it out, and then cut everything all at once. Like I said, lots of scraps. I'm gonna try to get those used before I cut into any like big long pieces. Um, so let's see what we can do.
like Mike had said, all of the pieces are pretty much the same. I've gone through and measured the gaps between all the windows and it's right about 12 inches. So that's what I'm just cutting all of these pieces to. It's like right about 12 inches. Might be a little bit of a gap on the corner, but once we put the front and the back pieces on, they're gonna kind of butt up together. And that's what you get for rough cut lumber. We're not really too terribly worried about it. It's gonna look good no matter what. All right guys, don't mind the mast but we are kind of back here by the chicken coop and this is where we just, we got all our junk back here until we can get a real, you know, big enough storage shed. But these are all these windows right here. I got to go through, these frames are holding them all together. So I got to go through and take the frames apart to get the individual windows out of there. I guess it turned out to only be these two windows um, that we needed to take apart, which is fine. Makes it a little easier. They're about three quarters of an inch wide. We have two and three quarters of window sill to work with. So that actually works out really well. That means I should be able to get two pieces of trim at one inch, two three quarters, yep. We'll center this window right in the middle of the sill should work out good. I do need to get some strips cut for the trim work to hold these windows in. So that's what I'm gonna do next. So I know it's trashed back here. We do need to get it all cleaned up. But this is where Liz and I have been throwing the off cuts from the mill. We got stuff like this down here, uh, stuff like this. So these are all boards that we didn't use whenever we were, uh, you know, cutting stuff like that. So I'm gonna go through and look in here and kind of see what we got wow look at this that is a huge slug there look at this guy he's pretty big but uh yeah I, i'm gonna move him because that's kind of cool but go through all these see what we're working with All right, guys, so in all this lumber, I cannot find the right pieces that I'm looking for, really. I'm looking for like a one-by-one one strip, and I can't find it. We don't have, you know, the long pieces. I got one chunk that's over four feet. I need a bunch, so I think my next best option is to just mill that tree that you see over there, sitting by the mill. Um, I got a chainsaw warming up. That one's got a weird sway at the end of it, so we're gonna cut it at about seven foot, two inches, roll it onto the mill, and uh, yeah, so we'll start, cut, yeah, we'll start cutting some one by one inch stickers essentially um, out of that tree.
Okay, so I figured I would need right at 21 chunks of these little boards to cover in between the windows to fill up this side and that side. So I think I have those all marked out. I'm going to turn the saw on now and get those cut. All right, guys, I want to take a second and tell you about the sponsor of today's video, and that is Simply Safe. And for those who don't know, Simply Safe is a home security system and is done right. Unfortunately, gone are the times of leaving the front door unlocked and your car keys in the ignition. And with everything that we have going on in today's world, it's a nice peace of mind to have a home security system. And I got to tell you guys, I've been skeptical on the home security systems for a long time. Main reasoning is you have to have somebody come out here, install the system. You know, you have to be here all day waiting for this guy to show up. And Simply Safe is not like that. Simply Safe is all wireless. It allows the homeowner to install it completely themselves, and it is a breeze. You download the app, follow the on-screen instructions, and it'll walk you right through it. There's a ton of different sensors and features that this system supports too. It's amazing, guys. You know, we have free sensors, we have water sensors, we have glass break sensors, we have motion sensors, we got door entry sensors, doorbell cameras. I mean, the list just goes on and on, guys. It's such a great system. And like I was saying, setup is an absolute breeze. Simply Safe is offering a special deal just for you guys. It is 20% off your whole system with the purchase of an interactive plan and your first month is free. Just go to my link right here, check it out. Guys, this is a super slick system, I'm telling you. I wanna thank Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. Okay, got all these boards cut. Let's see if we can't get them nailed up. Okay, so I ended up finishing the smaller pieces in between the windows on both sides. We're gonna go eat some lunch. I think I'm gonna make tuna sandwiches and then I'll come back, do the smaller pieces on the front and the back, and then up top.
get those pieces done too. I think it turned out good. All right guys, after lunch here, we still got quite a bit to do to put a nice dent in this project again. Liz has got a lot of the siding up and that is looking just perfect. She's doing an excellent job. I got a bunch of these boards. These are the one by one inch boards that we're gonna use for the window trim. We brought the chop saw down. I'm gonna set the block on that. I need, man, I think 24 at four feet and 23 at three feet. So, cue montage. Well, I guess not Q montage because I forgot to turn the camera, but I think these will work. So I'll staple all these up.
snacks here. Can that thing see me? Yep, you can come a little closer. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Just in the nick of time, we have a huge storm rolling in, so that works out just perfectly. Mm -hmm. It's about to get wet over here, up in North Idaho. Yeah, um, so everything went super smooth. We got all the windows done it and that ended up being a longer project in itself than I was planning on it because I wasn't planning on having to mill all of these uh, trim boards out right. um, but we got it done uh -huh. so that was cool yeah so with just a little bit of siding to finish up uh, we actually have to put another log on the mill maybe and maybe not a full log but have some more boards to mill up so we can finish that and then get the roof on yep yeah, well, Liz did a great job on all the corner pieces using the nail gun to get those on um, and yeah and then the roof is the last last little chunk. And then it's all closed in. Then it's all closed in. In a door. We in need to get a door yeah. as well. Um, that out. But we might just do a plastic door, uh, one of those magnetic plastic doors for ease of use and ventilation as okay. well. Mm -hmm. So that's we'll that. That's that. Thank you guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. Stick around for the next one to see hopefully this thing come to life. We'll catch you guys later. See you next time. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> For June's birthday. <laughs> Good girl. Happy birthday, June. June. Happy birthday. <laughs> you can tell that that white rooster is just kind of figuring out that he's a rooster by his cockadoodle do <laughs> doesn't quite sound normal yet but this is the first day we've heard him do that so he's kind of figuring it out <laughs> what do you think mostly pretty dry right <laughs>